Hey everyone, welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker, Von Hell's Lot. Just arrived in Oldstone. And we heard stuff about the cultists and Cyclops, dead Cyclops. Who's Muran, the trader? The middle aged man is hastily packing his words into his card. His rugged face and some bleached hair shown to be an experienced traveller. He notices you and nods, but continues his work. Shows a bad time to visit this place and get myself out of here. I suggest you do the same. And all this gloom in the air, that's why we're here. To whom do I have the honour of speaking? I'm Yuan, Merchant of Brevoy. I thought I'd seek a fo fortune in these new baronies, but so far I've met only danger and loss. Trolls roam the, sh roam the Shrike Hills. The situation here is even worse. The relief seems to have disappeared. Of course, the Soul Wars go to the side where the borders get drawn here. Who gets to claim which title? But so far, the rules of the stolen lands haven't much tamed their claims. A fair approach. Let me introduce myself. Make a arm bound these lands. I've been called here to help, specifically to dispose of these monsters troubling you. You're the bat. Oh, me, my big mouth. Oh, your grace. Blessings on you and your subjects. I shall hold you home. Never foot, never set foot in the stolen lands again. Ah, oh, come on. Don't be so dramatic. Monsters are a regular problem in such wild lands. But with everything well in hand, believe me, it wouldn't be in your interest to give up on the market now, though this very moment isn't the best time for negotiations. If visitors in the capital, we'd be happy to discuss the potential benefits of trade here, what sorts of benefits we both enjoy, but that we'll have to wait for another time. No. Though I thank you very kindly. I'll try my luck somewhere far away from the stolen lands. This place is... He waved his hand in the air vaguely, not God, like it's cursed or something. Well, very well, goodbye then. Personally, I'm in no mood for trade. So you tuck yourself up, if you need anything, go ahead and buy it. But be quick about it, there's a battle in the air. Show me where's. Have a quick look, but please be quick. I'm trying to get away from here quick. And some of the junk. And still PS then. Not so don't need do I for the Don't need meat. Chocolate. Don't need liquor. Don't need moss. Herbs, honey, yes, no yes. Don't think I need an herbs. Do need the butter. Flour was that needed as well? Maybe not that any. So sell all that crap. Um, now what does he have? It's 18,000, that's a bit rich for me. Good crossbow plus two. Half plate of will. Now he's got a heavy armor skill. What's this? Oh, it's a Steady leather armor. The R2. Okay, so I'll give you an extra plus one. 60,000. Can't afford it. And we have corrosion. One to spell damage. He's the only person doing that. Although, if you start throwing bombs, maybe. This is one point damage. Got some more potions. Should I get the heroism once? That's for 50 minutes. Yeah, let's get them all. And let's get some restoration. Oh, whatever that'll do. I thought I'd have a heroism and didn't tell you. So, do a quick save. It's like there's a fight up here at the top now. Lost apes. So, probably time for a buff. At your service. Put 
I'm on you. Arm up and smile it on. Do that yourself. Do that yourself. You transform. We should prepare. Do that on yourself. Ready for anything. Okay. Now shields what you got. Do that you. You can do a bark skin. Yeah. Dark skin over here. I know what to do. You can do a dark skin here. The dark skin here, and you can do another dark skin on yourself. I think. Okay, that's the dark skin's done. Get rid of that. Don't resist fear still. Put that on the smarter dog. Haste, or not, it's not haste, it's blur. One minute per level. Let's put that on him. Haste on the last rounds. Most a shield. You do. And you do. Might as well have one for yourself. Everyone's got a shield. Okay, let's see what this argument is about then. Let's just see what the um, long classes are. 35. 33. One. That's not great. You could have done with that. Um, Twenty-eight. See if I can get a mage armor on you. Um. Who has? Didn't to make up. She can't use them. Sure. Rule of Mage Armor. What's that? On you. Failed. Okay. What's the check for that? 21. Okay, well, the fourth first time. Top of the 20th. No, I've rolled down. Um, yeah, rolled 20 to 6 though. It's a good time. Okay. So that should give you now a decent 5, that's actually 4. Okay. Yeah, plus 5 from Charisma, dear. Quick save. What's that? Don't need to blast all this stuff for the uh, bomb things. Okay. The British Square is noisy and filled with people. A group of villagers and plucked verbs. Led by an old tiefling who was advancing on the group of others wearing simple peasant clothes. Both groups were armed. It looks like they're about to put the weapons to use. Svetislava. See, Grace, they've donned the black robes. Their minds are under the sway of the Cyclops. Please do something before anyone gets hurt. Mengar reaches for his blade. I've no wish to cross steel with my subjects. If their minds have been stolen by monsters, it's their duty to protect the innocent. Be ready. Where did they get the black robes? Did they make them? In direction by the Cyclops? Something seems wrong here. I think you're onto something. 
They don't appear to be insane. Not very smart either, of course. But you know, no mark of obsession. I suspect the Cyclops have nothing to do with this, and I guess just wants to trick us into solving some local political problems in her favour. I might add, she's doing it rather poorly. I can't stand bad liars. Agar, before we start swinging our swords around, why is to hear the people out? You godless wretches, you ungrateful pigs, for how many ages have your ancestors enjoyed the gifts of our master, one generation after another? How could you renounce his faith? What a pity. But what did the master send our ancestors? Harvest, good weather, healthy children? What does now send? Dead Cyclops. And what will it send us next? Box hurling down from the sky? No. You can pray to such a god all you want, but we found another god. It was raining. Do we need the master who bring his undead upon us? The village is interrupted by a deafening clap of thunder. A bolt of lightning cracks down and scorches the huge tree in the middle of the village. Here, you see the answer to your blasphemy. I speak the truth. If you renounce the master, no other god can protect you. You are forever in his hands in life and in death. Repent and return to your true faith. Isn't it madness to choose punishment instead of gifts? What the hell is going on here? Omega Vaughn, bound in these lands, and your sovereign. I came to help you deal with Cyclops, but it looks like something else has gone on here. I demand an explanation. Oh, your grace. What honour it is for you to visit our humble village. I'm Zordesh, the head man of this village. In fact, we do have a little problem, Cyclops. There's nothing to trouble yourself over. Everything is under control. Said Slava. Under control? Far from it. Your grace, you must save us. These maniacs venerate Charon. The horseman of death he wants us to wants to feed us to Cyclops. Forgive me for lying earlier. I was afraid you would punish us all. But I'm not lying now. It's a cultist, a real cultist. Why were you afraid the Mega would punish everyone? You're not all cultists here, are you? Well, not everyone. Of course, just him. Damned headman is head his henchman. We even another web of lies, Fetislava? The grace. You get to hear the truth now. Tiefling loves his head. I will not lie to you. We are the children of the horsemen of death. Our village was worshipped him for hundreds of years. But we are not a secret cult. Everyone you see here, as well as their fathers, grandfathers, and great grandfathers, and even the lying wretch who led you here. On the last new moon, he stood alongside us in prayer. This is our faith. We would pray to him, and he would help us survive in these dangerous lands. But now, as it was foretold, the Cyclops have arisen from their graves. His servants of old bring good news. But what did these faithless wretches do? They turned their weapons against his heralds, and even against their own neighbours. The Master has given us his sign. He wishes us to ward us with gifts, and they would be frightened to renounce their faith. So, just want to be graves and thralls and food for Cyclops? Your Grace, we are no villains. We bear no hatred or grudge. The only worship an ancient and wise deity has kept us safe here for ages. Please have me put down this uprising. You too will partake of his gifts. We are not the Cyclops. The appearance is a sign from the Master. The only danger to those in firmer faith. Don't listen to him. He wants to feed you to the Cyclops too. I beg you, spare us from this cult. We will worship Erastel or Abadal, whoever you command. I beg you, save us from this madness. I understand why this woman lied to us. I have no wish to punish her. To anyone who renounced Charon. As for the cultists, they were made faithful to the horsemen. I'm leaning towards destroying the cult and helping the peaceful villagers find another faith. When there are zombie cyclops looking around, followers of such a deity cast black shadows. And Cephal, on the other hand, it could prove most useful in this situation. Think, Magor, think. If anyone can get us to the bottom of the cyclops problem, people have served their patron for generations. To quash the surprise him, they find out where the head, what the headman knows. I don't want to make deals with these cultists. It's a whiff of sense in your words. What do you say? Svetislava, are you prepared to announce your ancestors' faith so easily? Faith is one thing, life is another. Pray to him like everyone else, not like we would stand against the entire village. But the prophecies, no one read them except the priests. Who would have thought 
that he would really truly raise these monsters. What good is it got to unleash his film dead upon us? I agree with Magar. Let's slaughter the cultists and leave the upper states be. As usual, no one listens to old Sefo. Then everyone wonders why everything turns to chaos. Your arms. You imagine have no idea the power you dare to raise your hand weapon against. Faithful, cover my retreat, I must protect the shrine. Never one off, I just stood there. And we still just stood there. Okay. So it didn't all go to the west at all. Okay, what do we have out here? Cultists, cultists. You go out there. Stabby. Omega out there. Smilodon and me as well. down here seems more like it I meant to get hit dog did or well, smilodon did wonder if that merchant's still around Medium congruence now. Hit no, some loot there, some loot there. Any of these the merchant still alive? Yes, no. Does not look like it. All the sneak attack damage. Warriors, archers, barely survived. But you did. Of course, I need to pee now, don't I? Traitors, how could you forsake your god? Unnecessary. What, what are you doing? We're neighbours. We don't need to fight. Your apostates, blasphemy, blasphemers, return to the true faith or die.
all of this. In time, yeah. Okay, so wait and descend in order. Oh, yeah, drop the scale mail. And the blessed boat. 25 a time, yeah. Chain shirts. Yeah. I'm gonna do five rests with that. I mean, it's heavy, but I might need it. Like a little dungeon or something. Especially as this is all on rails. I'm moving around and resting and stuff. Don't think I'll need those, but back down to line. Cultists. Like that. Don't think I need them, but you never know. Give the alchemist something to throw. Oh, we're back here. Okay. I'll pause here. And I need to go to the loo. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay. I don't know how much of the background noise you can hear, but... PC sounds like it's taken off. I've got a fan going to try and cool down the air, but... I think it's a lost cause. I'll leave that there. Oh, I got Zordash there. You go get the alchemist. I was going to give her some fire resistance. I don't need to. To perish at the hand of the unfaithful, now that the prophecy has come to pass and the divine gift is closer than ever, why am I found unworthy? Was it all in vain? No, not in vain. Sephel withdraws a sacred symbol of us. Asmodeus from under his cloak, an upside down pentagram. Your god is weak. Mortals have long forgotten him. In the name of Asmodeus, the Dark Prince, I command you. Tell us now what is this gift and where we can find it. I should take it by the right of strength. Speak, or you shall know all, all the suffering of hell before your miserable soul parts from your body. Seven to the Dark Prince. Your lord will not wolf ever. The horsemen are strong, and the horsemen of death is the strongest of all. The day will come when hell will be but dust under the hooves of the pale horse. You can have it your way for now. I will tell you of the master's gift. In ancient times, before the earth fall, great Cyclops empire ruled these lands. But they were unworthy of the power granted them by the master. Their emperor took his gift to the grave. And guards it there still, the depths of his tomb. Now the emperor has awakened, and his Cyclops have arisen. It's time to open his tomb. Go down there and accept the god's gift from his cold fingers. Go down, down to the tomb. 
stay there forever. And the deadly embrace of a cult. Oh, I'm dying of fear. Jelly Tucker, what say you? You haven't asked the question. What's this gift? A sacred artifact of incredible power. The one who accepts it will build such an empire, all the glories of the past will pale. It did that to the one who had it before. Do you think it would do it to anybody else who takes it? Where is the tomb? To the south of here, it's guarded by centaurs. Pathetic creatures always war and withers. They worship Desna, a powerless goddess gone insane. They believe she ordered them to guard the Cyclops' ruins from us. That is their sacred mission. It's ridiculous. I've already sent my best warriors there to chase off the centaurs and clear the way to the tomb. Oh, if only he'd been there, or they'd been here, no uprising would have happened. Worthless well, fools would have desecrated the horseman's shrine. What is done cannot be undone. What prevented you from getting this gift earlier? The master would be angry if he reached out for his gift before the time was right. Even if we reached his tomb, his doors would be closed to us. His staff is the key. It slumbered for ages, but now. The tiefling shows you his staff, round with the metal skull. The greenish flame dances in a single eye socket. The dead eye is opened. The dead fingers move. The gift awaits the worthy. It's a pity that you descend instead of the worthy, but the master is not merciful. He will see that you pay for your blasphemy. Now you know all. May the horseman curse your soul. With a swift motion, the tiefling pulls out a dagger and slashes his own throat. The book be forced to the ground, covered in blood. Oh my, Sephel, that was on a speech. But do you really think the Dark Prince would hand you, of all people, an ancient artifact of the horsemen of the apocalypse? My friend, to be frank, I have no stock in such ancient artifacts of boundless power. All that grand rubbish, Salomonica's speech is a market trickster, trying to sell snake oil to the village to Simpleton. They're merely good at making deals, even with insane fanatics, when the need arises. But suppose legends don't spring clear out of the blue. He hefts the cultist staff. Whatever secret this tomb holds, it may be useful. Staff of the Whispering Souls. In any case, this tomb is worth checking out. For now, it's the only lead on solving the dead Cyclops problem. Let's go. Wait, got unfinished business. As you say, don't be long. Dead Cyclops aren't standing idle. Oh, we leveled up again. So what's this staff? Port staff plus one. Really? It was only the special ones. It's a quarter staff plus one. Where's the fuck for you? Oh, he's got that one. It's a plus two bunk weapon. Souls trapped in his plus two quarter staff grant the wield a plus four profane bonus to intelligence. Only creature of evil alignment can use the staff. That's why he's got that then. Just the staff for Whispering Souls. Yep. He just automatically equipped it. It's his. He stole it. Emerald. What else did he have on? Plus two. Plus two. Plus four intelligence. Dagger plus one. And some crap. So. Let's have a look. Those two always please. Dagger plus one. Do you already have those? Dagger and dagger. Intelligence plus four. You've got the profane bonus. Now you've got 29. Protection plus two. Clean your knees up front. Probably you two. You can't have anything in your bloody wolf form. Is that plus two already? It's plus two. Natural armor plus two. Plus one, you don't have anything, so might as well give you plus two. Well, the bark skin counteracted. 
You don't have bog skin usually. To you. You don't have bog skin usually. That's about it really. He took some hits. You can't use them. Uh, he doing does that. Um, I'm going to get a rest before everything. Let's pause and I level everybody up. And then we come back and decide what to do. See you in a second. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so. Another level of monk here. Nothing particularly new. I've got a high power bark skin here. I've got fatigue fist because sort of a stunning fist. I'm not sure if they're going to be useful against undead though. But that bark skin there just means his eggs want to go around from the two places. Stabby boy. i uh, got another level slayer. He's got a, an extra study target. That's it, really. It's increased by one, so now it's in plus twos. Um, at the level of Druid, I've got a Face Stalker. And Vulture for Bear. So that'll be more tanky. Yeah, which might be good. Under the level of alchemist here, we've got fast bombs. And more poison systems. And then to the level of rogue here, we took combat reflexes. And improved on candy dodge. And so far we've got dimensional steps. Uh, that's it, and the spell wise, spells not much really going on here. Um, not the new yet, everybody else apart from you. Just me personal, let's get another major armor. Two, don't really use any of these. Burning arc, I guess. Maybe a summon to an interference. Stinking clouds. And bone shatter, got acid pit there. Curse, I've got scrolls of that, so. Okay. Spells here were nothing there. Two extra blurs there. And an extra feast. And here. Was, I think it was just an extra protection there. And that's it. The rest. Oh, that's everything on leveled up. So I'll save here. Next episode, I guess we're off to. Ancient Tomb. So. Find out what happens then. Till then. Thanks for watching everyone. See you all next time. Bye now.